March 2020, Provada Cigar Club. And I am pretty excited. I was actually expecting a different package from Provada because I ordered some more of the um, uh, the Good Life cigars from them. But I got my... I wonder why he didn't just ship them at the same time. They were close enough. Alright, so let's uh, let's get into things. Room 101 Micro Batch Exclusive Original Blend. So we've got an Espinosa Crema Lancero. That is pretty cool. Lanceros make regular uh, appearances in the Pravada Club because Brian is a fan of uh, of the flavor profiles and the extra flavor and stuff that you get out of Lanceros, as am I. Room 101 is also a regular appearance in the, and they they commonly come with uh, this band, uh, or I actually I've seen a couple with this band um, whenever they do a Pravada exclusive. So this is a Pravada exclusive. Room 101 Micro Batch, that's what that MB stands for, I guess. Exclusive Original Blend. And then, oh, nice. I know what this cigar is. Adam Stevens smoked this. He got this last month. Uh, it is the Blackbird Cigar Company, the Rio. So this is different from most of the stuff that Blackbird does because typically they've got these big sort of color-coded bands. And this is the only one I know of that has a foot band, which is very cool. Kind of reminiscent of the uh, Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust, uh, oh shoot, the name is escaping me. All right, so cool, and then the Espinosa La Crema Lancero. Eric Espinosa, a man's man, true to his word and as real as they come. Espinosa has been in the cigar game for 21 years now. He started working for brands like Drew Estate. Eventually, he started his own brand with Don Pepin himself. After a good run together, they parted ways. Over the past year or so, members have been emailing me saying, have you, uh, you have to try Espinosa. Um, Blackbird Cigar Company. Blackbird called me a few months ago. They enjoyed the love you all showed them on the Fast Eddie. So I didn't get the Fast Eddie. Uh, that was one that they did a while back. Uh, or maybe it was a, an unbanded, I don't remember. I'm thinking about burning this one right now because I have not had any of the uh, Blackbird cigars. I've got work to do, which I can do on this laptop tonight. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, let's see if I can give you guys kind of a, a close up there of it. And what's that band say? It's Rio. Blackbird Cigar Company, Rio. I, oh, it's got a closed foot too. That's pretty cool. All right, well, I'm gonna do it. Let's get out the Cigar Medics Humidimeter and uh, give it a test. It does feel a little dry. It's kinda, kinda weird. Feels pretty good. 64. 63. That's got a good, it's got a nice aroma. This will be my first Blackbird. I have not been able to try them yet. Let's see what it has on it here. Blackbird Cigar Company. Called me a few months ago, the Fast Eddie. Let me uh, drop this a little bit. They sent samples of an aged cigar they had in their factory. The wrapper is from Brazil. Their team loves the cigar very much and have been smoking them for personal consumption, but due to FDA regulations, cannot sell the blend with their branding on it. 
That is interesting. Why is that? We will be seeing a lot of cigars with a similar story between now and May. I call it the Rio. I love this ribbon on it. The color, the Christ, the Redeemer statue. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, Rio de Janeiro, Christ the Redeemer. That's very cool. That's very cool. I, I, it looked like a bird or something uh, with its wings folded back, but I, I, guess, uh, I guess that is not so. Okay, Brazilian wrapper, what else does it have? Um, the color, the Christ the Redeemer statue, and the font. Dope, collectible, rare, exclusive, aged. Sounds perfect for Pravada. It has a rare combination of Brazilian wrapper and Brazilian binder, Dominican and Nicaraguan fillers. Aged for two and a half years in the Dominican Republic. Just sitting there in the beautiful Caribbean island waiting to be picked by me to be shipped to you. All for your enjoyment with its beautifully dark and toothy wrapper. Let's get into the notes. I'm not gonna read the notes. Um, I would not say the wrapper is toothy. It, it is very slightly toothy. Well, it's got quite a bit of pepper, but oddly the pepper is, is subdued through the nose. Uh, but it's just kind of a, a bold presence in your mouth. Okay, I, I'm heating it up a little bit. Ooh, it's got some good, it's got some good flavor starting to come out now. It's got some leather. It's a lot of leather on this thing. Leather and wood, I'm trying to figure out what the wood is. Almost like a charred oak. It's kind of like a bold Italian coffee. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty present. It's, it's not, I guess it is kind of strong. I, uh, this is my flavor profile, so I, I like it quite a bit, but it is kind of strong. All right, guys, I'm gonna smoke on this for a little while, and uh, we'll be back with you in just a bit. Pretty good cigar. I do have some complaints, though. It's a gritty cigar. Um, and not so much in a bad way, it's just the way this cigar is blended, I have to be in a different mood. I have to have had, I think, some different food through the day. It's, strength-wise, it's not strong. I'm not getting uh, heavy nicotine or anything like that, but it's bold. The, the flavors are heavy, and it's just a lot of earthy flavors. Um, like I said, charred oak, the leather is gone, uh, maybe a hint of leather still, but for the most part, the leather is gone. I'm getting mostly charred oak, sort of gritty earth, and and it really reminds me of a strong black coffee, but not my favorite strong black coffee. Um, I'm not a blender, but I really think that this cigar for me, for my palate, would have been better with a Sumatra binder. The double Brazilian, Brazilian wrapper, Brazilian binder, <clears throat> I think is a little bit much. And it's a cigar that I just, I, I, it's a good cigar, but I'm just not in the mood for this sort of heaviness tonight. The construction is really good. It's been burning like a razor blade and smoking well. Uh, it's just been, Everything's been good about it, uh, with the exception of those flavor notes that I mentioned. Yeah, I think I'd really like to try this same blend, except for with a Sumatra binder. I don't know, maybe, and I'm just basing that off of uh, similar cigars that I've had before, that I know have had Sumatra. Uh, it just feels to me like that would have worked better for my palate. Cool package this month. I'm, I expect tomorrow or the next day I will receive my other package. I ordered four more um, The Good Life cigars. That cigar was so good and so 
dessert-like that I really want to have some on hand for really for special occasions. I mean, I'll smoke anything anytime pretty much, but that I just thought, man, uh, after a good Thanksgiving dinner with the family and hanging out with my dad or something, that would be a cool time to smoke that cigar. Um, you know, whatever. All right, guys. Provada Cigar Club of the uh, Provada Cigar Club March 2020 offering. Very happy about it, and uh, that's about it. Until the next one, stay rugged.